All right, class, <clears throat> this is a uh, quick demo or tutorial to help you get oriented with um, Chapter 5, Lab 1, which is a look at the different switch styles, especially the styles that are accessible um, on Tinkercad. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of these switches here. Uh, this first switch that we have on the right hand side, this is a single pole double throw switch. Okay. Um, in Tinkercad, it's known as a slide switch. And basically we have three connections here. We have terminal one, a common, and then terminal two. And the way the switch works is it can turn on, uh, or off um, different circuits by connecting um, from terminal one in common or terminal two in common. So it can actually control two different um, current lines, we could say. Uh, so I'll make a quick connection here, um, attaching the power supply or wiring the power supply through the switch into this light on the left hand side. Um, and uh, to do that, first of all, I'm going to turn this switch around. Um, the way the term, the, the way that the pins are oriented, it makes sense to have them attached on the rows. So I'm going to go like that and just put that in there. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to power it up, but I want to power it up through the common. Okay. Um, so I have my power from my power supply attached to this left rail. So I'm just going to bring the positive side over here and I'll turn that one, use a red wire just so I can tell. Okay. Um, and then we will, uh, I'll turn, I'll connect the light through terminal one. Okay. So that means that this line or this wire is going to connect. Now this lamp is not polarized, so I don't really need to connect it to specifically one terminal pin or the other, but um, I'll connect it to the nearest one. Um, and then we'll complete the circuit by connecting this over to ground, right? Because we have ground attached on this rail, right? That's a nice, easy way to do it. And I'll turn this one black so we know what that is. All right. So now when I start the simulation, because the switch is in the upper position, the light will start on. So, and there it is right there. So it, when I can turn it off and on this way. All right. Now to control a second lamp or a second light source in this case, um, I can use the bottom part of this switch. So I have another lamp over here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'll come off terminal two and bring this down and then come straight across over here and go up like that. And let's turn this one. Let's use yellow to, to identify that. Now, um, Notice that what we did over here with lamp on the left hand side, we connected it to ground. Well, we want to do the same thing over here, right? So I can do this to ground, but there's one difference. I haven't powered the left side, right? The left rail and the right way, right, right rail. That's tricky to say are not connected. All right. So I need to make sure that that connection uh, is made. So I'm going to bring power from the left hand side and connect the left power rail to the right power rail. And now I can use both sides. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. You could bring this lamp all the way on the left hand side and connect it. There's plenty of room to do that. I'm just um, showing you how you can do that. Now I start the simulation. One lamp will light. The other is off. And when I use the switch, they uh, light in the opposite manner. Okay. So that's the, uh, slide switch. All right. Now, um, if we, if we look at another type of switch, let me stop the simulation. Um, and this is the dip switch or the double pole single throw switch. All right. So it's a little bit different than this one. This is a single pole double throw. This is a double pole, double, uh, excuse me, um, uh, double pole, single throw switch. Okay. Um, 
let's see how we can connect that. Now, what th this one is a little bit, let me zoom in here. This is a little bit confusing because um, it's kind of hard to see the connections. You can kind of see them as I move in. You see the faint uh, circles in there. Um, but if we hover over, this is 1B, this is 2B, this is 1A, this is 2A. So the way this works is each one of these, so think about this in a line, and this is in the lab, you can see how I've connected them. So this and I'm just going to do a nonsense little circuit here. This and this connection. So um, 1A and 1B are connected together, all right, via the switch. And 2A and 2B are connected together via the switch. Now, of course, you don't want to connect them like this, but this is, I'm just showing you the loop where, where the connection is going to occur. Okay, so let me zoom back out and let's see how we can use that in this kind of um, scenario. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect uh, these lamps. I'll keep the ground connected, but I'll disconnect these lamps and I'm going to move this over um, to here. Now notice it automatically attaches here, which is kind of nice. So I'll, I'll just go like this. Now if I want um, this the the one side 1a and 1b to connect to this lamp then i can connect this side uh to power okay and we'll make that red and then i'll connect this side to the lamp okay and if we test that out start simulation and yep there we go we click on that and it turns it on now if I want to do the same thing over here but with the other terminal now here um, maybe I goofed up a little bit let me move this wire over here and I'm gonna move this whoops don't want a wire I'm gonna move this switch over a little bit more like that okay that's gonna give me access to this one um, and now I want to power this side so I can bring power across here and I want to connect this side to the lamp and we'll keep that green. All right. So now when I start my simulation, they should both go on when I activate the switch. Okay. So this switch is useful when you have two, what could be separate circuits that are in this case they're not separate because we're using a the same power supply but we could just as easily um you know we could get rid of this connection between this and we could bring in a different power supply you know let's do a um uh let's do a nine volt battery right um and so we can connect whoops this the positive side here and the negative side here. And you know I'm a stickler for colors. It does help when you're when you're looking at things. I have some pretty complex circuitry and um, tracing wires is no fun if they're not the same color. So here we have everything connected, but we have two completely separate circuits, right? The left-hand circuit has power, and we go through the switch and the lamp, and then it uh, it, it closes. The right-hand side has a different power supply. All right, so when I start my simulation, um, there we go. We turn them on, we turn them off, and there we go. Now, uh, yeah, so, so there we go with the different power supplies, um, and, uh, and that's it. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, I'll uh, try to make some more demos to help you out as the labs become a little bit more complicated. Okay, goodbye.